I'm kind of knocked out by this. It is interesting reading your reactions. Everything appears to be ready to go. Let's react to some music from New Zealand. We are Kiwi. And this is Post Metal. It's by a band called Shepherds of Cassini. It's a request by Omar. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this. Let's check it out. Here we go.
like cello, actually. Up to now, it sounded like post rock. Now it's post metal for sure.
Okay. The symmetry of that song was quite amazing. How it began to when it finished. It, it, it was so organic. It was so well thought out. And I liked how actually the first section I was thinking, this isn't post-metal, this is post-rock. And then it kind of reached that threshold because it's kind of a gradual build-up. And then, uh, then you got the distorted, distorted car, the distorted guitars coming in. Then, you, then right away, yeah. I love how the uh, the drums built up. The uh, I love the violin. How it started off playing a kind of atmospheric role, and then was sort of a supportive role. A little dit, 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 dit. and then later on in the song, it had a really an important role. Like it took on sort of the lead role. Yeah, it took on a lead position, kind of. That was cool. So the, how the band is sort of passing the hot potato, like like who's kind of playing a more important part, uh, in which in which section of the song. It, uh, this band sounds really mature as far as songwriting and in this style of music, this kind of post-metal, post-rock feel. I was just listening to um, UK, you know, the prog band from from England. Uh, they have Eddie Jobson playing uh, violin. He's a fantastic one. There's there's a lot. There's several really great uh, prog uh, violinists over the decades. And one that's hardly ever called out is Nash Slash. I think the violin for me was one of the big selling points of this band. It really popped this group out, uh, uh, out of the crowd, if there is a crowd. I mean, I haven't reacted to a whole ton of post-rock and metal, but this one was fun. It did remind me a little bit of Tool. I'm sure they're a bit inspired by Tool. Who hasn't been inspired by Tool, honestly? And also, notably, the bass. Can't I can't forget to mention the bass. It was uh, beautifully toned. There was chords he was doing there, and at the end when he was doing some... He added some kind of distortion pedal or something, and the whole bass was just rumbling. It just was, like, huge. And the imagery this song gave me, you know, I mean, there was this sort of uh, imagery of a forest for some reason. I really think of a forest. For some reason, this song makes me think a little bit of a tree, like a trunk of a tree, sort of the way the trunk the trunk of a tree starts off really fat in the ground it goes thinner and thinner and reaches out this song sort of began up at the leaves you know right at the edge of the tree it felt like as a song the symmetry of this song it started at the edge of a tree and went and went bigger and bigger and then you got to the big trunk and and at the end of the song you had the trunk which is the bass chords slamming it with some distortion going on and and the violin just taking over yeah there's just something really organic about this band i'm kind of knocked out by this so thank you, Omar, for uh, for making this request, and also for uh, you and all of everyone who's uh, made some contribution to the channel via PayPal or or through my Patreon page. You should check that out. Also, I've got progdog.ca. I've got it posted here now in my little marquee. I'm starting to do album reviews there, written, and uh, I write out the reviews. Uh, it takes a lot of time, a lot of focus, and I love it. It's great. I sort of like emerge from this this place where I go and, and spend time with an album and then they emerge and I've got this article I've written all about it and I'm trying to do videos as well so I come out and I do the video and I sort of read my text and that's sort of hard because I want it to be spontaneous but it is my own words right so I'm just sort of feeling how to do that maybe I should do it uh maybe I should do a podcast without any video at all so you just see the album cover and then you just hear my voice maybe that's what I'll do I don't know I have to feel that one out, but I, I think uh, album reviews are different from album reacts. Like for example, this is a good song react. It's spontaneous. I think a, a natural next step would be when you react to a song and and you really like it, especially, then I can go and do a full album review and write that up. And uh, yeah, that's sort of a nice cycle. So thanks for watching. Prog Dog says goodbye. Sharky says goodbye. He's into it, man. He's into the prog. He loves it, or the post rock, or whatever it is. Spiraling out. Talk to you later. Bye.